Today I'm going to jump off a building without safety equipment because I want to prove that anyone can do their own stunts just like Tom Cruise, except without breaking your legs. I will train, I will fall, but I will rise again. Let's do this! Being a stuntman is super dangerous. We don't want Jordan to get hurt or even worse, kill himself. So we're gonna help him with a tool called Avaturn. I wanna thank them for sponsoring this video and the super cool thing is that it's easy and free to use so all of you can just follow along. To use Avaturn, simply click the link in the description down below to go to their website. To start scanning, you don't need to download any apps. All you need is three pictures of the face. Smile, Jordy. And within a few seconds, you can already see a realistic 3D model of yourself based on the pictures you took earlier. It's that easy to make a 3D digital twin. And now we can start customizing Jordy's 3D avatar, giving him the right hair, hair color, shoe, and even a Cinecom t-shirt, which by the way, all of you can add to your avatar. And maybe we can do something crazy, like for example, set a world record for most 3D scan people in one scene. Could you help us with that? All you need to do is just follow the link in the description down below and scan an avatar of yourself and let us know in the comments if you're actually joining us for this world record because next month we'll take a look if we actually broke it to take customization a step further we can use their website to animate our 3d jordy making him do all kind of stuff however later on we'll be using some other ways to do the animation but i'll come back to that but for now we just have to export it and we instantly have a next generation avatar ready to play in the next mission impossible please don't make me laugh jumping off the studio was a bad idea i have to admit that so let, let's do something smaller something more realistic I didn't calculate it, my jump. Oh, oh, oh. Now instead of jumping from the first floor, let's jump into Unreal Engine 5.1. Here I added our downloaded avatar and the cool thing about Avaturn is that you can use and operate it in Unreal Engine. And if you want, you can download a sample project to start using your avatar right away. Check out the link in the description below. However, besides Unreal Engine, you can also use your 3D avatar in the metaverse or in games. Who knows, in the near future you can play GTA 6 starring yourself. Here we go again. Now for the world, we'll be using the pre-made city sample map of the Matrix demo, which is free to download, link in the description. In the city, we will be looking for a perfect spot to jump between buildings. And here we will be setting up some camera animations, which is easily done by creating a virtual camera and animating that in the level sequencer. We are going to look for a few different camera angles so that we can create a cool action scene. The idea is to combine green screenshots of Jordy doing his thing and his 3D twin will do all the dangerous stuff. Once we have our camera angle, we can start with the green screenshots. Of course, we want handheld, so we're going to use the Vive Mars for that. This device will translate the movements in the real world and bring it over to the virtual camera in Unreal Engine. And now that everything is set up, let's get Jordy to help us out. What? Come on, Jordy. All right, five minutes, because I'm doing a dangerous stunt right now, so I need to focus. Genix says my hair has to be very flat for the green keying. I'm just like Tom Cruise! And now that we are done with all of our shots, we can finally start with the rest of our animations. For the animations of Jordy's 3D twin, we are going to use Mixamo. They have stunning presets perfect for what we want to achieve. So we looked through their library for every animation we could use. Now there is one problem. We have a GLB file for our avatar, but to use Mixamo, we need an FBX file. So first we need to convert our file. Luckily this is easily done in Unreal Engine. We just exported our 3D Jordy as an FBX and now we can use every animation on Mixamo. In total, we picked four different animations that made up the whole action of jumping over the building. These we dragged into Unreal Engine and all we needed to do was tell Unreal Engine which skeleton to use. From here we can drag it into our scene and render it out. However, we can forget to also render out our empty shots for the green screen footage we just made. And then we can start with the compositing of our green screen shots. This is of course something we already did many times before, so if you want a more in-depth explanation check out the card here on top. But let's get quickly through it. First we sync our green screen shot with our empty Unreal world. Then we pull a perfect key and the only thing left is to color match the two shots. Of course you can also also add some extra details if necessary like a light wrap or maybe a cool lens flare to make it epic.
This is the first time ever in Cinecom history that we failed to make the end result, the final effect of a video. I'm sorry, guys. I feel really, really bad about it. But there's no end result. I failed doing the stunt. So, apparently, not everybody can do their own stunts. <laughs> hey, Jordy! Come check this out! Janik? You guys sure this is safe? I mean, this is higher than a film studio. Alright then, I trust you. Let's do this. That was pretty dangerous though. All right, let's not do that again. Woo. And that's the story of how Jennig and Lorenzo made me realize that doing your own stunts is not a good idea. What is a good idea though is to get started with Unreal Engine because it's an amazing program as you just saw and it's absolutely free. So check out the beginner tutorial video here on my left to learn Unreal Engine 5. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative.